I want to spend the rest of this week talking to you about stress management and the vitamins and nutrients we can eat in order to help control it. Um, in general, eating a balanced and a healthy diet can help all sorts of uh, disorders and increase our overall health. We want to make sure just on a daily basis we're getting three meals, and you can split this up however you want, but generally three meals of two fists, your plate with two fists of veggies, a palm-sized portion of protein, a cupped hand of starch, and thumb-sized portion of fat. We want to focus on lean proteins such as yogurt, egg whites, white meat, fish, and meat. And then we also want to sprinkle in some medium fat and high fat protein sources. Medium fat would be dark meat, chicken um, would be then high fat would be full egg, red meat, and the, those we want to do in moderation, but we do want to get them. For example, red meat is a good source of iron, which is one of our vitamins we'll be talking about, one of our minerals we will be talking about. So we do want to get a mix of all of those for an overall balanced and healthy diet. Um, our healthy starches are going to be your quinoa, oats, potatoes, and rice are the ones you want to focus on. Then your veggies you want to think about as your green and leafy veggies. Um, your starches can, again, going back to like potatoes is a vegetable. A squash is a more starchy vegetable. A lot of your beans are a more starchy vegetable. Um, they can also be a good source of protein as well. And then you're looking at your healthy fats being your butter, oils, uh, nuts and seeds in moderation, and mostly as uh, garnishes as opposed to snacks and avocado. So getting a healthy, balanced, eating healthy, balanced meals overall helps you know, a lot of health symptoms, especially things like stress and, and anxiety. So that's kind of the, the big picture view. And uh, the rest of this week, we'll talk spe about specific vitamins and minerals to help increase your, uh, your stress and anxiety defenses. Nutrients. The first one we're gonna talk about today is magnesium. Magnesium creates and helps neurotransmitters transmit. Neurotransmitters relay messages by traveling between cells. There are excitatory ones, which allow you to take action, inhibitory ones, which allow you to relax, and modulatory ones, which are responsible for communication. Um, inhibitory is the one that magnesium falls under and specifically magnesium helps you manage and keep cortisol release in normal range. Cortisol causes stress so therefore having enough magnesium helps you control cortisol and keep it down and therefore helps you keep your stress down and overall it's an inhibitory neurotrans helps inhibitory neurotransmitter responses which help overall relaxation. Um, some common foods. So I have recipes for all the foods that I'm going to mention now. If you want these recipes, I can send all five of them to you or just the ones that sound interesting. So just email me at heather at crossfitfactorial.com and I will send them to you. But some foods you can look for. Um, I have a recipe for chocolate, banana, cauliflower, and oats, a cream of celery and asparagus soup, cumin, citrus, black beans, and rice, kale, white bean, and Caesar salad, or a gingerbread smoothie. All five of these meals are high in magnesium, which should help you manage Next is stress. vitamin B6. B6. Vitamin B6 is not created by your body, so you must ingest it. It plays an important role in mood regulation. Like magnesium, it helps create neurotransmitters, and these neurotransmitters regulate the ones related to emotions, including serotonin, dopamine, and gamma aminoburic acid. It's also been linked to increased brain function and activity. Some foods and recipes that I have, including vitamin B6, are I have a recipe for lemon, garlic, tahini dressing, uh, chicken, asparagus, and sweet potato, spaghetti squash, turkey, and broccoli. All three of those things are high in vitamin B6. So if you are interested in any of those recipes, please email me at heather at crossfitfactorial.com. Iron is up next. Iron. 
when you are iron deficient, there could be a lack of oxygen available for the body to use. This lack of oxygen can cause, has been related to a lot of anxiety and even more serious mood disorders. So the meals that I have for you regarding iron are pea and basil buckwheat, buckwheat risotto, warm peas with eggs, ground beef, asparagus, and sweet potato, sausage and sauerkraut skillet, liver, onions, and sage. If you're interested in any of those recipes to increase your iron and manage stress, please email me at heather at crossfitfactorial.com.